How you doing? My name is Brian Christopher Hearn, and I am the director of Nothing Rhymes with Juneteenth. Uh, I firstly would like to thank uh, Idris Goodwin and Alicia Elliott for uh, just trusting my vision and for uh, awarding me the honor of being a part of this project. Um, you know, when you look up Juneteenth online, even so recent as a month ago, uh, it's been classified as an unofficial holiday. But now, uh, with this powerful social climate that we're in that I'm referring to as the Black Awakening, um, <laughs> I'm proud of the steps that are being taken to recognize this day, also known as Freedom Day, also known as Liberation Day. Um, I consider it a step in the right direction uh, while I continue to fight for things that Black people are truly seeking, and that is true freedom and true liberation. Uh, I would also like to thank our actors, uh, Lauren Juliette Ballone and Jalon Nunn Sparks for bringing a father-daughter dynamic to the screen that we don't see in uh, Black film too often today. Um, their natural chemistry is just one thing that has made me so proud of being a part of this project. Um, but enough about me. Without further ado, here is Nothing Rhymes with Juneteenth. One love. Hey, what rhymes with Juneteenth? Oh, I'm not sure. That's a hard one. Um, Juneteenth. 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 I've been sitting here blank for 10 minutes. Well, what are you doing? It's for school. We're supposed to present about our favorite holiday. I thought your favorite was Halloween. It is Halloween. So why are you asking me how to rhyme Juneteenth? Because this year for Halloween, I'm going as one of the liberation soldiers in 1865 wow. who went down to Galveston, Texas and delivered the message that the enslaved people were free. Did you know it took more than two years after the Emancipation Proclamation? Wow. I love soldiers, but I thought, wouldn't it be cool to be one of the soldiers who marched all the way to Galveston, Texas to deliver the good news to hundreds of enslaved people. So your report is not about Halloween. The report is, but the rap will be about Juneteenth. Your report is about Halloween and your rap is about Juneteenth. Exactly. Okay. Every kid knows Halloween, but not everybody knows Juneteenth. So putting it in a rap makes sense, right? Yes, it does. I just need to think of a rhyme. Maybe you break it in half. Rhyme June with teenth. So moon and uh, moon thief. <laughs> Juneteenth moon thief. But what does liberating enslaved people have to do with stealing? Yeah, them? yeah, good question. <laughs> Um, what if you just didn't rhyme Juneteenth, but rhyme the words around them? I thought of that, but if I can think of a good rhyme for Juneteenth, more people will remember it. That's what rhymes are for. True. Juneteenth. No, let me just check the rhyming website. There's a rhyming website? Yep. Okay. June. Is that cheating to use a rhyming website? No more or less than using a dictionary. So, nope. Nothing rhymes with Juneteenth. Oh, oh, don't get frustrated. We'll figure this out. You know what? What? I rapped a little in middle school. Really? Yeah. Well, once. Some friends and I went as the hip hop group Arrested Development for Halloween. Who? Doesn't, doesn't matter. Uh, we learned one of their songs and performed it at the Halloween School Assembly. You did? Yeah, I think your grandma has a video of it somewhere. I was Speech, the lead rapper, and I really had to study his lyrics. And the thing I noticed is that he never actually rhymes the entire word. Tennessee, he just rhymes B and C. Like, for some strange reason, it had to be he guided me to Tennessee. So don't get caught up trying to find the perfect rhyme. There are lots of ways to make it work. How? You tell me. What's Juneteenth? A celebration. 
of being free. So free rhymes with a lot, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It does. So many things. Yeah. Here, let me change it. Okay. You ready to try it out? Okay, so pretend I am in my liberation soldier uniform. You look amazing. Thank you. <clears throat> you all know the story, divided states, civil wars, bullets and hate, brother versus brother, slave versus master, a bloody chapter of American disaster. Lincoln had a plan to free every man, woman and girl enslaved in the land. The South said, wait, that's not your call. The war wasn't over, so the news got stalled. Two years after emancipation, black people were enslaved. I said black and not African-American because African-American has so many syllables. No problem, keep going. Okay, uh, let me start back a bit. Okay. The South said, wait, that's not your call. The war wasn't over, so the news got stalled. Two years after emancipation, black people were enslaved across the nation. They didn't know the South would lose and soon they'd get their freedom news. Until then, they stayed in danger, waiting on the troops of General Granger. June 19th was the date, Jubilee, Jubilee, let's celebrate. And word it spread across the South and that's what Juneteenth is about. So from Texas to Tennessee, hip hip hooray, now we're free. June is here, we are free. Celebrate this day for eternity. We are free, we are free. Juneteenth is here, it's a jubilee. When I say June, you say teenth. June. Teenth. June. Teenth. And one more thing, I must say, Juneteenth, my real favorite holiday. I just made that last part up in my head just now. How subversive. What subversive mean? It means that you are the best kind of liberation soldier. And for that, you get ice cream. Yes. <laughs>